What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're back talking about more Kevin Durant stuff. So yesterday on Twitter there was the idea of Kevin Durant would also love to join James Harden in Philadelphia. So of course you guys already know I had to come at you with this rumor rebuild. They're going to be doing a Kevin Durant Reunite with James Harden in Philadelphia, so a Kevin Durant 76ers rebuild today. Before we get into today's video, make sure you guys drop a like on this one. Of course, subscribe if you're new to the channel. As always, greatly appreciate again dropping a like on this video. Helps push this video out to the YouTube algorithm, so thank you guys so much for that. But if we talk about the potential trade that is Kevin Durant to Philadelphia, which they could technically pull off right now because there's like nobody that who just recently got signed, so nobody blocks this trade from happening. And this is the idea. Now, I want you to ignore the first round pick situation because I don't even think Philadelphia can trade their 23, 2023 first round pick. Uh, it's with the Nets and now the Jazz. So it's kind of confusing. Uh, but basically, I couldn't throw like 2027 or 2029. And maybe you argue that you don't need as many picks in this trade since Tyrese Maxey is here. But basically, the trade is Maxey, Tobias Harris, Matisse Thibel. Insert whatever draft picks you think is fair for Kevin Durant. So that's kind of what we did today. We just kind of, you know, gave them all the picks in the world that I could. I only had two to offer, at least here in 2K. And we got Kevin Durant here in Philadelphia. So Kevin Durant is now a 76ers with uh 76er with James Harden and uh obviously Joel Embiid. So we are going to be looking at this roster, and I want to go ahead and let you guys comment down in the comment section below. If you're Philadelphia, would you trade Tyrese Maxey? Like, I think trading Tobias Harris and Matisse Thibel isn't that big of a deal. But trading Tyrese Maxey, on the other hand, who looks like he's going to be a stud and he's super young right now, would you do this for Kevin Durant? This is just a scenario rebuild. So not saying this is going to actually happen in real life. It is definitely an interesting idea. And then tomorrow, I think I actually want to do the flip side of things where we do a Tyrese Maxey Nets rebuild because it almost reminds me of the kind of the Jalen Brown thing. And this is kind of 76ers 2.0 over here with Simmons. Maxi, Tobias Harrison, Seth Curry again. So they're all reunited. And Matisse Thibel, not to mention. So Philadelphia 2.0 over here in Brooklyn. But regardless, we are focused on our side. So our starting five would essentially be James Harden probably at the two. Danthony Melton would probably be running point guard or whatever you decide to do. And you know, those two in the backcourt, regardless of what position. And then Kevin Durant at the three, PJ Tucker at the four, and then Joel Embiid at the five, which I think is a top contender in the East. I really do. Kevin Durant, James Harden, and Joel Embiid would be a very, very interesting trio for sure that would be very nasty to stop uh the only team only thing stopping this team is kevin durant's toe and uh health honestly because Joel Embiid, kevin durant and james harden have all struggled with injuries in the past uh but regardless i actually just want to see how 2k thinks of this roster because usually in season number one the 76ers always go on to win the championship with maxi and james harding starting uh starting together but what if we added kevin durant to this equation took away maxi and i really want to see how the nets do as well uh, keep tabs on them and then if you guys do want to see the other side of this rebuild tomorrow drop a like that way i know you guys want to see this uh but this is your starting five so it's james harden d'anthony melton kevin durant pj tucker joanna b daniel house paul reed cork Maz, and george's name so that is your team so very top heavy the bench could be a little bit better it's not terrible could be better though uh but yeah i really like this i like this team a lot so proficiency wise we're a four-star pro centric uh, we can be a four star in a lot of places, but it looks like we can actually be four and a half at balance. So that's probably what we'll move it to. But a very big three of James Harden, Joel Embiid, and Kevin Durant sounds very intimidating. Sounds very, very scary. And then again, I do want to look at the net side of things as well as what their team looks like right now and how their starting five would look. So it'd be like right now, Kyrie Irving, and then you have Tyrese Max, Kyrie Irving in the backcourt, Ben Simmons, then Tobias Harris, TJ Warren, Clax, whatever you want to do. That's a pretty good team out east. I would imagine Kyrie Irving would be traded though if. The Nets did do this trade, which I don't see this actually happening in real life, but hey, who knows? So we're going to go ahead and submit this season. We're going to see how things go. I might stop at the trade deadline to add on to the bench. We'll see. Maybe not. I'm going to just kind of fill it out. And then if I do make a trade, I'll show you. If not, I'll see you at the end of the season. So we are stopped at the trade deadline, and I'm trying to get Jordan Clarkson to kind of solidify my bench a little bit more. So Jordan Clarkson's averaging 17 points per game on the season, and having him come off the bench for this team, I think would be a really good addition. We're also maybe getting Jared Butler out of the trade. We're giving them Springer, Cork Moss, two seconds, Daniel House, and Shake Milton. So it's quite a bit to give up, but we're not giving up any first round picks, which is why we kind of have to give up this much. Would they accept this? They do agree to that. So we get Jordan Clarkson to be a huge bench piece for this team, which is what I was trying to accomplish. So now Clarkson come up, comes off the bench as our sixth man here in Philadelphia. Paul Reed, Jared Butler could be a huge addition to this team as well. And then George's Nang would probably take over for Jeremy Lamb here so that is your brand new bench so Clarkson becomes a very very 
strong force off our bench which is what i was trying to accomplish did if i did i just give up a lot yes but we are going for it this year man and jared butler uh, i don't think utah would throw him in but he's averaging 13 points per game on the season so i only went for him because he was on like the cheapest contract and getting the money to work was really tough but hey we got him as a throw in i don't think utah would just throw him in like that but i'll take it for this video so maybe it was a little unrealistic in that sense but getting clarkson i think is a possibility of philadelphia can get the money to work here at the trade deadline now getting jerry butler on top of that might be a little crazy but regardless we have both of them now off of our bench and i feel pretty strong about that so far so good this season the only other thing i want to look at is contract extension so we take a look at that d'anthony melton says he will resign what is his contract situation right now he has one year left um we got paul reed who will resign as well and yes yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and extend paul reed right now i like him as a bench piece going forward we're gonna give him a three-year deal and then as far as D'Anthony Melton's concerned, I want to keep my options open for now, but uh, uh, 14 million over two years maybe is something we could consider. He's been a pretty good starter for us. So you know what? We'll go ahead and give D'Anthony Melton his offer as well. And uh, Clarkson, so we're going we're gonna to have to extend in the offseason. But regardless, feeling pretty good about how we stopped the midseason point, extended a couple guys and acquired Jordan Clarkson. Let's keep it moving. So MVP is going to go to Luka Doncic, Chet is your rookie of the year in Oklahoma City, Nashawn Highland, sixth man of the year, Giannis defensive player, Anthony Edwards most approved on the Timberwolves, and then I'm Udoka, coach of the year in Jacob Park. So it looks like the Celtics are going to be an intimidating team we have to worry about. Harden makes all NBA first team, which is amazing because we want to see James Harden succeed. He's probably going to opt out of his contract and get a big payday for his last big contract, and we're probably going to give it to him. So you got Giannis, Jason Tatum, and Jokic here. All NBA second team, you have Joel Embiid as well. And do we get Kevin Durant for an All NBA third team member? I don't think so. So no Kevin Durant, but we do get Joel Embiid, which is a W. And then all defense first team and all defensive second team. And we are the second seed in the East, which the Celtics edged us out for that first seed. But regardless, 26 points from James Harden and 10 assists, 25 and 11 from Joel Embiid, and then 24 from Kevin Durant. So which is what we wanted. Then Clarkson came off our bench. Very strong six man of the year candidate for us. 16 points here. And then 14 from D'Anthony Melton as a starter. And we extended him. So I'm happy to have him here in Philadelphia. And then Jared Butler, another guy we got in the trade, which is a very underrated player that we got out of that trade. Probably shouldn't even have got him. But regardless, Paul Reed at nine and a half and five off the bench. So I'm feeling pretty good about how my bench will look going forward. I am nervous about PJ Tucker's longevity on this team, though, just because in 2K, he's going to go down in overall. But this year we have him. So that's what matters. So we get Toronto in round one, which these two teams matched up last year. And as we know, the 76ers did beat them. The Raptors made it a very interesting series at one point, uh, but Joel Embiid ended up hitting a crazy game winner, if I remember correctly. So similar to current round against Toronto, and we are going to beat them in five. So thankfully, we take care of them and do not get upset here. But now we get the Cleveland Cavaliers. So they have Garland, Okoro, Sexton, uh, Mobley, Jared Allen. So basically, your same Cleveland roster. If we get upset by Cleveland, it would not be a good look. We just acquired Kevin Durant for crying out loud. So we're looking to win a championship, and we just edged out Cleveland beat them in seven we won by 10 in that game seven in philly but now we get boston which is the ultimate test and i think this very well could be your eastern conference finals in real life uh i guess the bucks though are you know might have something to say about that or some other teams might have something to say about that so clippers and dallas on the other side of things but uh this should be an interesting series so game one we do win by one steal one at home from them which is a great sign game two we're up two to zero so we still want again and overtime beat them by one again that is heartbreaking if you're boston two to one they beat us by one like it, has that ever happened where each game was decided by one point you know how crazy that sounds game four we're up three to one beat them by five this time so the trend stops and can we beat them in five no what about in six yeah so we do beat the boston celtics in six games and we go on to the nba finals ultimately which is awesome and now we get the los angeles clippers who have Paul George, Kawhi, Robert Covington. The Clippers are a very, very deep roster. And if they're healthy, they're going to be very intimidating out West. But I'm feeling pretty confident about my roster right now. 30 from James Harden. They do even it up and they beat us by one. So that's been a trend here. But we're down two to one. Dude, if we lose to the Clippers here, I'm going to be a little shocked. I mean, Kevin Durant, we got him to push us over the edge. And we are down three to two. Not looking too great. I'm going to go to an eight-man rotation to solve this problem. And hopefully... That gives us all the ammunition we need. We have to win one in LA and then in Philly. So I don't know, man. I don't think Philadelphia fans would be too happy if we got this far with Kevin Durant and we just ended up losing like this. But it's not looking good for us unless we can come back in this game. It's looking like we are going to lose in the finals to the Los Angeles Clippers. Wow, I'm shocked. But 
Uh, it's okay. We can run it back. And John Wall is your savior here in game six as he averaged or he got 29 in that game six and beat us by six. So shout out to the Clippers for beating us. Getting Kevin Durant does not lead us to a championship. And LeBron James calls it a career after seeing these two super teams go at it here in the Eastern Conference Finals, but or in the NBA Finals, just to say. But regardless, as far as the draft is concerned, we got the Knicks getting number one. So they get the Webb and Yama sweepstakes uh, handed to them. We don't have any draft picks at all. So we're not even worried about this. And then we're just going to head probably straight to the... Wait, did PJ Tucker retire on me? I wasn't even paying attention. I don't think he did, which is a good sign because I could use him in a trade. I love PJ Tucker, but I know he, go down, he goes down like crazy uh, in 2K. So I'm almost looking to maybe find a different power for to be honest with you, just because... I don't want to have to rely on him and then he's just like really bad so that is gonna be the plan probably in that scenario where we get a different power forward as far as who we're gonna get i'm not sure but we'll look at free agency look at the trade market there's gonna be a ton of options of maybe upgrading here we don't have to do too much or we can get a small forward move kevin durant to the four either way so got tons of options so i'm gonna keep doc rivers since we finally got to the finals with him i uh, just came up short unfortunately to his former team just thought about that Second round pick, that's very late. I don't even think I'm going to worry about that. I'm going to, you know, sign whoever they draft. But we get Huntley Hatfield, which actually is not too bad at that overall. And then Clarkson's going to accept his player option, which is cool. And we'll go ahead and accept Trevlin Queen. And then James Harden, as we know, is going to become a free agent. Jared Butler was a throw-in in that trade. A very good throw-in. So, yes, I do want Jared Butler back. And I do want James Harden. So, James Harden's going to finally cash out on his final year. So, this was kind of his game plan. I'm going to give him that five-year contract he's probably looking for and he will be playing uh until he is done and then he'll probably be playing until he's 38 years old so that is the contract we are handing him and i'm going to sign james harden making sure not to renounce jared butler because that is a piece i definitely want to get james harden on the team and everyone else i'm good with leaving okay so as far as the free agency market for forwards are concerned you have gary harris then you have reggie bullock which actually isn't a bad starter at uh by any means daniel house is back in free agency you have Larry Nance, so I'm not feeling the power forward market all that much. So my favorite target by far is probably Reggie Bullock to be a starting small forward if we really have to result to free agency as far as our starting four is concerned. Uh, Tucker did retire. I didn't see him retire, but he is gone. So doesn't look like we could just trade him now. So Tucker retires. Keep Clarkson, which is great. Uh, but yeah, we need some depth, man. We need some forwards. So I think Reggie Bullock would be my favorite here. So Kevin Durant... I'm going to move him to power forward and then Reggie Bullock's probably going to be my starting small forward. And we're going to probably sign Daniel House as well. That's probably what we're going to have to do. So KD, you know, power forward, small forward. And then Reggie Bullock is going to be my target probably here. So Reggie Bullock, I'm going to give it a three-year deal too. And then I'm also going to try to sign Daniel House back, which I traded him in the Utah trade. But hey, if he wants to come back, uh, I would love him here. And we do not have enough room. So we, I would have rather have had Reggie Bullock to be honest with you, but... I guess it's it is what it is. Lamar Stevens at 6-6. P uh, he actually didn't look too bad. So I'm gonna give Lamar Stevens a deal. And uh he can maybe be a nice addition. And then Jared Butler is the only person I'm waiting on. I'm hoping I can get him back wherever he may be. So can I just give him a contract right now, or is it gonna say I can't? It's probably gonna say I can't give him a contract, but uh Jared Butler not asking for too much money. I don't think I'm gonna be able to sign him to that. So he's restricted. So I should be able to match any offer he gets or should come back on his qualifying offer, I assume. But I have a weird feeling he's not going to for some reason. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're definitely going to need Jared Butler back. I don't want to trust Huntley Hatfield to be a rotational piece. And I'm not sure I even trust uh, Lamar Stevens or Daniel House. But uh, PJ Tucker retired, retired on me, I guess. I wasn't even paying attention. But Will Bart, I'm going to go ahead and give him a minimum to as well. Just more depth. So... Will Barton, and then Jared Butler does come back, which is a huge W. So player progression, we got James Harden going all the way down to an 87 overall after giving him that massive extension. Not a great look. Clarkson's going down. Will Barton's going down, which I kind of figured. Lamar Stevens is up. So this will be interesting. Kevin Durant and Joel Embiid are still really good. But James Harden went down like crazy, especially after we just gave him a big contract. That's not great, but that's how 2K works for you. So... Let's go see what this rotation is about to look like. And I'm curious to see what it's going to uh, be like this season as far as simulation is concerned. We just got really close. So you have Harden, Anthony Melton still, Daniel House, Kevin Durant, Joel Embiid, Clarkson's uh, uh, still your sixth man, then Paul Reed, Jared Butler, and Lamar Stevens, which we're going to run a nine-man rotation this year. So that is your rotation again. And proficiency-wise, we're four-star balance. So I'm a little nervous about James Harden going down in overall, whether that's going to hurt us or not. I have a feeling it's going to. I still might stop at the trade deadline to make a different trade just to change that small four position. But 
I might just roll with it. We'll see. So let's go ahead and simulate the season. Season number two, season number one, we got to the finals. Let's see if we can actually win it this year in season number two. So Luka Doncic wins MVP. Victor Webanyama is your rookie of the year. Nashawn Highlands your six man Giannis offensive player. I would assume most proved in Minnesota. He's always going somewhere and just absolutely going off. I need to go ahead and maybe sign him to be like a starting point guard sometime soon if I need a starting point guard because he seems like an absolute stud. But NBA first team, no James Harden this time. Joel Embiid, NBA first team now, which is exciting. I'm assuming Kevin Durant may have leapfrogged James Harden. Kevin Durant does make NBA third team. And then, yeah, James Harden looks like he may have taken a step back with his overall regression. But we are the second seed in the East again. So kind of where we were last year. Atlanta gets number one this time. Player stats wise, 27 from Embiid, 26 from Kevin Durant, then 19 and 8 from James Harden. So he took a step back scoring a little bit, kind of went back to his past first James Harden style we all know today. And then 12 points from Jordan Clarkson off the bench, 11 from DeAnthony Melton, 10 from Jared Butler off the bench, then 7 from Paul Reed. Seven from Daniel House and three and a half Lamar Stevens. So I am very nervous about these playoffs because James Harden, I feel like he's going to hold us back a little bit. And hey, look who we get. We get the Nets. So the Nets have Kyrie still. They have Maxi. Wouldn't it be something if we lost this Nets team right now after, you know, obviously getting Kevin Durant from them? That would be kind of crazy, but I could see it happening. So game one, we're down one to zero, lose by six. Okay. Kyrie Irving is on his revenge tour. We're down two to zero. We're about to get swept by a seven seed, aren't we? This is my luck in 2K, though. All right, eight minute rotation. We got to win one. Come on. All right, there we go. Can we even it up? Yes, we can. All right, we're not done yet. One, three straight. Let's go. Beat them in six. Come on. Let's go. Okay, I was a little nervous there, but we do end up beating the Brooklyn Nets. Man, the Nets were about to upset me here. Kyrie Irving was about to get his revenge. I don't imagine Kyrie is a Brooklyn Net if Kevin Durant's traded, though. So now get the Celtics again. So we beat them last year, and we had some close games. So this is no walk in the park here. We realized how close this was last year, so... We have to come in and we have to buckle down. We got to get it done. So game one, we're down one to zero. Good, not a good start. Down two to zero. Do can we go and even it up again? We went three straight again. Yes, we can. Can we do the same thing? Oh my goodness, win four straight again. And now we get the AC to Knicks or the Cavaliers. What do we want? We get the AC to New York Knicks. What are the Knicks? Who do the Knicks have that they're doing this right now? Web and Yama. That's right. They drafted Web and Yama. So now they're starting five is. Brunson, quickly, RJ, Randall, Webb and Yama, Mitch, I, I wouldn't, I'm a little nervous, to be honest with you. I'm actually really nervous about this team. Like, I feel like Joel Embiid could clamp up Webb and Yama maybe, but like, bro, if the Knicks ended up being bad this next season, Knicks fans would be so pissed. But then if they saw they go on the number one overall pick, they'd just be like so happy. I don't know, man. I'm not liking this. I I'm feeling a weird upset here. We're up one to zero. Good start. Okay, two to zero. Two to one. Can we go three to one, please? No. Okay. I don't like this at all, man. I'm so nervous right now. I do not want to lose in the Knicks in these cards finals here. Please, please, Philadelphia, do not lose this team. I'm not trying to lose to an eighth seed. Okay. We got the lead for now. Please hold on. Please, bro. Please, please. No. I'm I knew it, man. This Knicks team, the eighth seed, eighth seeds are the scariest thing in 2K. I am uh please don't lose to this team. Please force a game seven. Please go to a game seven, Philly. Please, man. I'm begging you, 2K. Oh my gosh. Please. I I have to save the day, dude. I am not losing to an eighth seed. I can't do it today. I'm not doing it. I'm not trying to lose to an eighth seed. That is the worst thing that I could do right now. So please let me get this win. New York, I, I get it. You got Webb and Yama now. Congratulations. But I have to win a championship. So please stop your madness right now. Okay. Good start. Now I have to do is play defense. That's all I got to do. So if I lose to this team, man, eighth seeds are the just so annoying in 2K, man. They have Webb and Yama and Robinson out here together. Play play good good defense. Good defense. Oh, that I thought that was about to go in for a second. All right. Uh, let's go to James Harden here. Just got to play a good possession. Give me a screen with Joel Embiid. And Jalen Brunson's got like... Bro, come on, man. Like, what kind of pass is that? Don't allow three. Just don't... Oh, my. What am I doing? What am I doing, man? What is that pass? Like, how does James Harden not throw it over Jalen Brunson's 6-1 head? All right. Give me the same thing. Not going to be there, of course. Get. I don't even know what I'm doing, man. Okay, I guess he tipped it. At three. I was trying not to allow a corner three. And then I literally just left quickly wide open. Like, I wasn't even paying attention. I'm such an idiot. Okay. Give me a screen, Joel and B. Like, I don't know what I got to do, but this is all I know. This is all I know how to do in 2K. 
Give me... I could have maybe taken a three with James Harden there, but I'll take the two. And we got to play good defense. We, we played good defense earlier. I'm going to guard Randall. And I'll feel good about that as long as Clarkson can stay on his man. Harden's getting lost in the sauce. There we go. They're going to hold the ball quickly, Mitty. He's going to miss it. Okay, that's a good sign. Uh, we got Clarkson in transition, maybe. Got Kevin Durant in transition. Boom. Okay. All right, we're back in it. 92-95. Play good defense again. The difficulty is probably on a lower difficulty, so don't make fun of me too much. I'm terrible at this game, but you know we get gameplay when we need to, and I gotta I gotta clutch up here, man. All right, so quickly, he's getting the screen. Just want to make sure. There we go. Good defense. He misses. Let's go. We're off and running. We're off and running. Give it to KD. Could have maybe. Uh, not there. James Harden. Oh my goodness, I'm so nervous right now. Okay, let me reset. Oh wait, we're down. Wait. Oh my goodness, I gotta hit a three. I gotta hit a three. What am I gonna do? Clarkson, get open, please. I have James Harden, maybe. Please hit this. No, man. Oh my gosh, I hate this game. I suck, bro. I'm just I'm just trash. Quickly is gonna probably bury us here. We got a timeout, but I don't think it's really gonna matter. Call our last timeout. 2.6. I just I don't even know what I was doing there, man. Like, just trying to find. I maybe should have just shot it with Kevin Durant. I don't know, man. I'm bummed. I'm bummed right now. Uh, Give me a screen. Somebody give me a good screen. Okay, maybe have Kevin Durant for a three here, and I early released it. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter, man. We're going to lose to an eighth seed. That's how it's going to go. We're going to lose to an eighth seed. So, yep, lose to an eighth seed. And that's that. So, the eighth seeds are the scariest thing ever in 2K, but... We're going to go again, man, and uh, I don't know how well this is going to go in this next season because I feel like James Harden is about to be very bad in overall, but we go again, man. That's how it's going to go. I want to win a championship with this Philadelphia team. I think this team could do it. Uh, Doc Rivers is gone. I mean, if I can get Tyron Lue, sign me up, but I'll go for Doc Rivers again. He's done a great job, or even Nick Nurse, for crying out loud. I'll get Nick Nurse. Sure, why not? And then give me a guard guru. And we'll run it back. That's all we can really do. So let's go again. And hopefully James Harden doesn't go down, go down overall too much. And that's just going to have to be the hope. So player options. We'll accept that one. And then qualifying offers. Jared Butler and Mar Stevens are two free agents I have interest in. And then I think I don't have anybody else to really worry about. So Jared Butler. I'm just going to give a contract to now. And then small forwards that we could sign. Like Batum. Trey Mann's out here. I mean, if I can get Trey Mann, I'll take him. So Jared Butler, Jared Trey Man accepts another offer. Figures. Okay, so he goes to Utah. Probably better opportunity there anyway. All right, so Russo is here. Batum, Osman, Wiggins is out here. All right, what do I have? So I have Harden, Butler, Clarkson, Melton, Daniel House, Durant. Okay, so I just need a better small forward, to be honest with you. And I'm not even sure that's out here. So like Hamdi Diallo, I guess I could play him at small forward. It would go up. He's 25. That's my best option. So I'm going Hamdi Diallo here for a two-year deal and i'm running it back okay so if i decide to make a trade at this next trade deadline to just let's see how how bad is james harden now okay so james harden's down to an 85 not feeling great about that but we're gonna have to live with it so if i do decide to get a small forward at the trade deadline i'll show you if not we're just going right back into it so we've been a second seed every single time in this video and we oh my i get the knicks again man if we if they beat me again as a seven seed, then GG's, man. Player stats, 24 from MB, 23 from Kevin Durant, 16 from James Harden, eight assists. So yeah, James Harden's just continuing to go down. And overall, you know what? I'm going to just play my eight best players and I'm going to roll with the punches. If we lose, GG. Somebody come around against New York and we are going to beat them in six. Why couldn't we have done that last year? And now we get the Cavaliers who are a good team in their own right. And I'm not feeling particularly good about this one. They have Dylan Brooks now, so many current round. And we beat them in six. So we're back in the Eastern Conference Finals. We beat the Celtics twice now. So hopefully you can continue to just do that again. Their team is, if I can find it. There we go. RJ Brogdon. I mean, we've beaten this team twice. So can we do it again? 1-0. Even it up. Game three, up two to one. Three to one. And beat them in five, please. Beat them in six, please. Let's go. We're back in the finals again. But now we get the Thunder. We have Kuzma, Chet. Shea, Giddy, Lou, Dort, and Jared Vanderbilt. So it is the Thunder, though. Kevin Durant, James Harden can win on their former team, hopefully. Please don't win three straight. Okay, we got it. And 
Game seven, of course. Why would it not end on a game seven? This is going to be in Philadelphia. This is for my championship. Can I finally get one here with the 76ers? This is the third chance we have. Third time's a charm, hopefully. Close game. And this is like literally as close as it can get. I guess you're getting double crush playing 2K here today. 105, 102. Maybe I cut out the other portion. I want this video to be streaming long. Okay, well, I have to clutch up here, I guess, in a minute 17. Not feeling pretty good about my, not feeling particularly good about my chances here. Chet is going to put them up five uh, after this free throw, I imagine. So, yeah, I'm going to once again have to come back. And trusting me to come back is not the greatest thing in the world at all. So, I'm just going to run to the pain, to be honest with you. And, nope, thought I would have it open. I really need to stop wasting time. So, Joel Embiid, you cannot... Okay, he hits the mid-range. I was trying to drive to the basket, but I'll take a mid-range and we still have at least two more possessions, I would imagine. So as long as we can get two stops, we should be golden. I got to score quickly though. Just make sure. Okay, good defense. Shea misses it. All right, let's off and running, off and running, off and running. Let's go. Um, I'm going to just give it to Jared Butler here. And I got nothing. I got nothing. All right, I need the ball back. So give me a screen, KD. And I'm going to give it to Kevin Durant here. He's tired and I get blocked by Chet, but get the rebound, which is a good thing. Okay. Uh, we're running out of time, running out of clock. I got to give it to Embiid. Embiid, bro, this, watching me play is a disaster, I know. And I apologize, but I'm trying my best here and Lou Dort's wide open. I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> it's not even funny, man. It's not even funny how bad I am. All right. Chet blocks Joel Embiid, but come on, man. Like... He's going to block me again, isn't he? Nope. He gets a stop, though. Kevin Durant for three, please. And he's going to hit that. And that's probably not going to matter at this point. We're down, going to be down five and going to lose to the Thunder, probably. Wow. James Harden and Kevin Durant losing their former team again here. So, all right. Going to foul Josh Giddy. They're in the bonus. They're probably going to go up, too. So, what's even the point here? I mean, Josh Giddy hits the first one. We have a timeout, I guess, which is a good thing. And then he's going to hit... The second one okay so we're gonna call our timeout and then i'm gonna miss it the the three whatever it may be so gonna need a wide open three here don't feel particularly confident about getting this wide open three but you know we'll give it a shot so give me a screen someone um there we go it's not gonna be open though and we throw a turnover so that is gonna be it for me if we ran it back could i actually win this game seven and win a championship no i still lose so story of my life man i'm gonna end it there thank you guys for watching this is crushables if you want to see a nets rebuild tomorrow let me know i'm saying peace thank you guys so much for watching make sure you click here to watch another video that i know you'll love